Hey there everybody, good morning. We're having another little bit of moonlighting effect here on the video this morning, but that's not going to stop us. I've got something I need to share with you, and then i got to get down to the radio station. So, stay tuned. We're going to talk about fences and trees on today's installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, funny you should mention that, Catherine. That's exactly... What we're going to see now, that just put it right in the middle of my face. There, that's a little bit better. Hey, everybody, good morning. We're going to talk about that, Catherine, so stay tuned. Good morning. Welcome to today's edition of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name's Tom Rigsby, your host, and this is the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. Today, we're talking about trees and fences. But before we do that, if you are here... You can join Catherine. Yes, it is a humid Alabama morning. As soon as the camera warms up, it cooks it off, so it'll go away here in just a minute. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about, Abby. But uh, good to see you here this morning. It, it'll cook off in a second. So uh, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Catherine and Abby have done. Say, uh, leave a comment, say good morning. Uh, what's up with the fog? How's the chicken? Well, just whatever. I mean, chicken's back right over there. He took the winter. Well, no, I guess he was in the office, too. Anyway, today, trees and fences. So, and kind of to Catherine's point, uh, in the intro there, it talks about the one thing that, that prevents your success. Uh, and, and her comment here was spot on. One thing that keeps me from my success, me. Very often, a lot of people, maybe this applies to you, will see um, a reason not to. And not to whatever, right? Start a business, end a business, quit a job, start a job, change jobs, ask for promotion, whatever, right? We'll see a reason not to, and we'll look at that and go, oh, well, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. Well, so I wanted the reason I titled this uh, Fences and Trees, I want to show you this picture of uh, part of my fence. Go here where you can see it. This is uh, a tree root growing through the fence. It, it, it took time, but the tree obviously did not see the fence as an obstacle. It just continued to grow and pushed the fence out of the way. And, and what I want you to think about uh, as we talked about this this morning, we can see, I'm going to call it a perceived obstacle because they're not always, we can see a perceived obstacle and think, okay, I'm not supposed to do that. Well, maybe instead of preventing you from doing whatever it is, it's really there, and this is the, this is the perspective I want you to adopt. It's not there to keep you from doing it. It's there to keep all the other mediocre people from following you. Yeah, you like that? So, uh, Randy Posh said in his um, lecture that I quote all the time, the last lecture, that the brick walls are not there to keep us out. They're there to help us. To, they're, they, are, they are there. They are there so we can prove how badly we want it, right? Andrew, what's up? Um, the brick walls are not there to keep us out. They are there to make us prove how badly we want it. So when you see an obstacle or a fence or something that you believe uh, is holding you back, it's not there to hold you back. It's there to give you an opportunity to demonstrate how badly you want it, and to separate you from the people who are not willing to do the things that you are. And I call them, you know, the mediocre masses, right? It, but once you get over that fence, now you're ahead. And as we say all the time, if you want something that other people don't have, you have to do something they're not willing to do. 
So maybe getting over this fence, this obstacle, this speed bump that you think is holding you back, maybe getting over that is the thing that you have to do to separate you from the masses. Now, something else magical happens when you do that. And this, we spent a lot of time on this last week, but that it's experience. And experience leads us to confidence. So once you've gone over this obstacle, this fence, this roadblock once, the next time you encounter not just this roadblock, but any roadblock, being serenaded by the insects this morning, once you encounter any roadblock, now all of a sudden, oh, I got over that other thing, I can get past this. And the more times you do it, the, the, the lower and lower and lower the fence or that speed bump goes until you don't even feel it anymore. And you're just chugging along, everything's great. So, the next time, in fact, I'll even go so far as to say, today, when you feel blocked by something, I want you to look at that, I want you to change your perspective on that and say, how can I use this to separate myself from the mediocre masses. How can I use this as an opportunity? Instead of an obstacle, it's an opportunity. How can I use this opportunity to separate myself from the mediocre masses? That's your challenge today when you run into the next obstacle. Now that I've set that intention, set that question in your mind, it's going to come back to you just like that as soon as that obstacle presents itself. And when that happens, I would love to hear about it. You can either come back here and leave a comment, send me a DM, uh, send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com, whatever makes you happy. I would just love to hear about it. And if you get any value from our time together here in the morning, I would appreciate if you would leave a heart, thumbs up, like, stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching. So happy that you were here with me this morning. Hope you will be back here again tomorrow morning. And, by the way, if you happen to be in the Huntsville area, I am going to be on the radio in about 50, uh, it's about an hour from now. Starts about seven minutes after the hour. On uh, WTKI 1450 AM 105.3 FM. Keeps changing those numbers. No, 1450 AM 105.3 FM, or you can listen live at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. I would love it if you would join me there as well. All right, that is it. I'm done. You guys have a great Tuesday. I'll talk to you on the radio and back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys take care.